When in doubt, bun it out. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. I'm doing something just a little bit different today. Instead of doing a thrift haul, <laughs> I'm going to show you my all-time favorite purses that I've thrifted. I haven't been thrifting very long. What I'm about to show you I think is pretty successful for thrifting for like a year. And so here we go. The first thing I wanted to show you is, and each of these has a fun little story. So the first one is this really cute coach. It's a mini bag. It's not a very big bag per se, but it has a, it's got really clean lines. And I love this little lobster clasp. This is a coach factory purse. Um, so it's an outlet purse. And, but it's, like a different spin on your typical coach bag because coach bags usually have, they have really heavy hardware, giant turn buckles or giant buckles. And this is just a really pretty simple, like lobster clasp. I love that. There is a Gucci Bardot bag that has kind of the same, the same design. And I think this was about five bucks. You know, actually, I think it was even cheaper because I got this at the Memorial Day sale, so it might have been two fifty. The next thing that I have found is a Sea Wonder tote. I'm sorry, the color is super blown out. Sea Wonder is it's a company founded by Tori Burch and her husband. The company is no longer, and but they sold Tori Burch esque type of items, so the bright prints fun print paired with bright color. So this was found at my local Eco Thrift for $3.50 and I love the inside of it. It's just a really good tote bag, but I mean it has years of good use still left in it. I use it for work sometimes. I like to switch out my bags a lot. I have a lot of bags and so if I'm going to have a lot of bags then I like to make sure that I kind of rotate my bags, otherwise my husband would be like, we don't need all these bags. So I put them to good use. So yes, this is the Sea Wonder. And again, this was about three-ish dollars. So the next bag I found, I found this bag quite recently, is a Marc Jacobs, it's like a messenger bag. So it has a big long strap. It is in the standard supply series. And Marc Jacobs makes really good bags. This actually is still, I believe, is selling in Nordstrom for a couple hundred dollars. I got it for 30, 34, I'd like to say. This is probably my most priciest find, but I enjoy it. I think it is just a classic handbag. It kind of has an edgy feel to it while this being an Oliver classic purse. We're getting down to the last two bags in my major finds collection. The next purse that I have for you, I actually still keep in its dust bag. I went and bought a dust bag on Poshmark because I'm still trying to condition it. It's kind of a stubborn, stubborn, stubborn bag, but I have a pretty cool story about it. I went to a thrift store kind of in the hood. When I walked in, I mean, you could kind of, it's definitely not a Goodwill kind of vibe. It's, it was dark and not very well organized and everything looked kind of dirty and old and like nothing had moved in like 20 years. I like going into kind of the little tinier thrift stores because you never know what you'll find. And so I was looking and there was a box of clothes, literally somebody had taken a box of clothes, probably was donated and just put it in a back corner. So it had gone untouched. So I went in and was digging through it and I found this purse. It is, it's a really pretty purse and as you can tell it's got like wear to it, staining. Um, I'm still trying to work it out. I'm using like a conditioner. I, I bought like a vegan conditioner because <laughs> apparently my leather bags need vegan conditioning. <laughs> Um, I found this and I didn't know what it was and I opened up the purse. It was kind of sticky too. I mean, I've, I've had to work through this, so it's, this guy is, is my sensitive one. It's a J. Crew bag and it's from their collection. 
um, series, which was I think in 2006. So I actually called J. Crew to see, you know, if this was, I wasn't sure if it was leather or if it was suede because it had like a dry feel to it. And now that it's been sitting in its dust bag and, and it's been moisturized, it, it, it definitely feels different. It feels more like leather. This bag retailed for about $4.98. I got it for $2.13. I'm pretty stoked about this because <laughs> I think this is like my first eye opening, like wow. I can find things for really cheap and that was probably eight, nine months ago. This does come with a price. I have been working on him and making sure that he is t well taken care of. It's a really hefty bag and it's beautiful and I, I've, I do like how the like staining is kind of giving it a little edge. <laughs> so my two dollar and something cent fine from J. Crew. And then last but not least, you have most certainly seen this in my second to last video. My speedy bag. <laughs> I was at my daughter's school and I had been talking to the teachers about thrifting because they thrift too. And I had mentioned that I'd found this and a woman who was walking by stopped in her tracks and I'm like, which, which, which good bull was this at? So I told her and she's like, I'm going right now. <laughs> so. I like inspiring people to to go and thrift because I would love to see what they find. I mean, who knows? And some of you that have um, replied on what you guys have found, like just impressive. Going to different things like estate sales and you know little tinier thrift stores. You just you never know what you'll find for two dollars or thirteen dollars. Um, but yeah, that is my like prized collection my ultimate scores i would like to call them these i i think with the exception of the coach and the mark jacobs bag and the sea wonder the j crew and speedy come out on special occasions not too often because i'm still trying to get them in tip-top condition i'm still just baffled at how much how many little sweet little gems are just laying in these little bins so I encourage you to go thrifting. I would love to hear what bag have you found that is your ultimate score. I mean, it doesn't have to be a Louis. It can be a Sea Wonder. It can be, I what else did I find the other day? So I found a Le Sport Sac Toki Doki Edition bag that is super stinking cute. I love Toki Doki. I love their whimsical, here I'll turn it around. I love their whimsical like little cartoon cartoons, cartoonies, they're characters. And this would be a really good, this is a really good purse for going out with the kids, you know, if we're headed to the park. It is super roomy inside. Like there is a ton of space in here. So I can even fit, you know, if Lily has like snacks or even like a change of clothes. And it's got plenty of pockets and even like a little drawstring area. I don't know, like a mini water bottle. Probably not, but <laughs> um, this is like five bucks. It's just fun. And then the last bag that I have for you is, this is my bag that I go to the bins with, that I thrift with, um, when I go to work and I have to have, you know, like my ID and keys and cards on me. It is this Timbuktu bag. There's a little tiny stain right there. And I washed it and it never came out, but I love, love, love the like black and white design. It almost looks like denim, but it's not. It is, it's a perfect size. It also fits the Canon G7X, which I am filming on right now. Um, it's a good bag to have and it's got pockets and storage and it's just enough to where I can keep my essentials um, without getting too bogged down. Because when you thrift, you gotta be hands-free. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, that's it. Please let me know what your ultimate, what your ultimate purse find is, where you found it. Um, maybe even send me a picture of it. I'd love to see it. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this new-ish kind of type of video. 
Um, I'm trying to keep it fresh and I'm trying to find new ways to show you what I found because I feel like I've accumulated a lot of stuff but just never really showed you what I found. So I think I'm gonna try some other videos like this, like my favorite dresses, my favorite shoes. My favorite shoes. I'll have to do that. Anyway, have a good day and I will see you very soon. Bye.